How can it be good for Britain to have a market flooded with cheap imports, which is surely what would happen under this plan? What happens is that the price of imports that we currently pay a, a lot over the odds for from the EU will come down. There'll be a terms of trade gain and also there will be um, a move of resources out of uh, protected areas into higher productivity areas, including, of course, in, in manufacturing and farming. But you've conceded before that leaving the EU could mean the end of British manufacturing. I mean, is that a price worth paying? The point is that manufacturing, since the Brexit devaluation, it's a new situation where it's highly profitable. The last CBI survey is the best for 20 years. So what we've got is a manufacturing that's got an enormous fillip over the short and medium term to raise its productivity in the long term and face, uh, uh, you know, a world economy at world prices, which already it sells into. It's a whole dynamic process, you see, whereby the British economy gets into a much more competitive situation. Huge numbers of highly respected economy, uh, economists say that your analysis is flawed. Who are the public to believe? All these trumped-up economists and the consensus, they're all hard hands. They work for government, they work for big industry, which is against Brexit because it's inconvenient to them. The models that these guys use, uh, the gravity models, as they're so-called, do not match but the facts of the UK economy. The facts of devaluation and the facts of going to free trade mean that there is a future for manufacturing if it does the right things and raises its productivity. That's the issue. Professor Minford, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure.